Hey everyone, it's Space Ali for All Things Mobile, and today I'll be doing just a quick video about the BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha. So, as you may know, this is not a production phone, so this is not a retail phone, it's not out for sale, um, so no asking for um, can I buy one or, or uh, can you sell me one because these are not for sale. This uh, is called the Dev Alpha because that's exactly what it is. It's a developer alpha, which means that it's pretty much a phone or like a device rather for developers to test their applications on. And uh, since there's a lot of uh, talk about this uh, little device here, I thought, you know, might as well just throw together a video about it. So uh, this is just, you know, looking at the Dev Alpha, you'll see that. Uh, even the print, it's very Playbook-esque if you look at it, and that's essentially what this really is. It's just kind of a miniature version of a Playbook. You can see up top you've got the headphone jack, and now this is the unlock and lock button. Uh, that is uh, a microphone. Just three buttons. This is also a mute, up, down. They control the volume. On the bottom, this is actually a speaker output. And these seem to be two uh, screws of some sort. On the back, you've got a camera and a flash. Now, some uh, now there was a user on CrackBerry.com who managed to take a picture and uh, transfer that uh, photo to the computer, and uh, he figured out it was eight megapixels. And I've confirmed that this is an autofocus camera, so that's pretty interesting. On the back, you'll see the Blackbird logo and property of Research Motion Limited, all rights reserved. Evaluation unit, not for sale or lease. This is exactly why you don't see these on eBay. Um, and, oh yeah, this is actually the micro SIM card slot, micro HDMI, and micro USB. 3.5 mm hearts of jack. So, and on the front of the device, you've got a 4.2 inch screen. It's a capacitive multi-touch screen, um, which uh, it's, it's, it's expected because we, we kind of knew the first BlackBerry 10 device would feature a, a, a full touch screen, but they, there will be BlackBerry 10 devices that have a full QWERTY keyboard, Just it's just that the first one will be something like this. It'll be a full touch screen device. Uh, up top here, you've got the front facing camera right here. See if we can get that. Yep, that's the front-facing camera. Okay, that's the focus. Uh, there we go. Front-facing camera, speaker grill, and actually right in here, right in there, in the actual speaker grill, you'll have the LED notification light, and that's uh, I think that's a pretty nice design cue. I've seen it on the HTC One X, and I thought it just looked pretty cool. Uh, these down here are just the ambient light sensors and that's about it for the hardware of the device now no one exactly knows what hardware is in the actual device what processor the GPU etc but many have have speculated it's probably a TI OMAP 4460 which would be 1.5 gigahertz dual core I don't have the same SGX 540 graphics chip as the BlackBerry Playbook. So, into the OS, you guys can see that it's very Playbook-like. It it looks identical to the Playbook, and coincidentally, if I uh, if I I can even do bezel gestures, and as well as uh, some people were wondering, are these sides too narrow for the bezel gesture? And no, they're not. All the bezel gestures do work, um, so they're not too narrow. And in some parts of the OS, they, they actually do refer to this as the the playbook, which is quite interesting. If I go to the setup, and if I go to um, date and time, maybe no, um, there was some. Oh, right here, uh, desktop software. You'll see the words right here. Uh, Playbook, BlackBerry Playbook tablet. So, essentially, this is just kind of a a, um, a modified version of the Playbook OS. So, and th that's what it really is. It's to give developers some sort of hardware to test their applications on, 
and to see if the application first of all will run properly and second of all if they want to add tweaks maybe use bby.js if they're doing a webworks application to kind of give that native look and feel as well as some cascades development so uh, we have found that some applications do work uh, from the playbook this is the messages app that's uh, if you look at it it's perfectly it's it scales perfectly if I go into a message uh, you can see that it's this is the messages app from Playbook OS 2.1, the dev developer beta, uh, and I can you know create a message here. It's all scaled nicely, um, and the the problem is if I do this, not so nice. It doesn't you know there's a whole bunch of unused space here, so it doesn't scale so nicely. But in terms of just the portrait mode, it actually does scale, and you can see that. I do get options like in the playbook I would not get the three dots down here here I do if I press that I get more options right so uh, it's nice to see that some apps do scale nicely uh, when you do get the device uh, if you go to a Blackberry 10 jam world tour session or if you were in Orlando and you got one of these dev alphas you would you would know that you only get the browser and then the camera so but interestingly enough, in the camera, if you go to the camera application, there is no uh, pictures app, so um, there is none of that. But this camera does feature autofocus, so this is just the skin case that comes with it. And I can show you guys if I press and hold, that uh, if I press and hold, that, uh, it's probably not going to travel really well on camera, but if you were... In person, uh, holding this Dev Alpha, you would know that it does focus, so that's interesting. As well as Android apps do work. I've managed to get a couple of them on here. For example, this is just uh, Twitter, and um, I this does run a little bit faster than um, on on the current playbook release, uh, 2.0.1.358. Uh, just the Android play just seems a whole lot smoother. Uh, but as well as this is not as new as the 2.1 developer beta on the playbook and that's because I can't multitask Android apps I open them one at a time Oops. here's one and if I try to open up Twitter it'll you know open in the same window so it's it's newer than the official release on the latest playbook release but it's not newer than the than the Android runtime in Playbook OS 2.1. So that's all this really is. It's just a developer device. Nothing really uh, too fancy or interesting. This is not file hardware. So please do not ask me if this is file hardware. I think that most uh, other sites have stressed this enough that it's not review, uh, or rather it's not file hardware. We have also states this is not file hardware. So that is that. So pretty much just to wrap up, Dev Alpha is only for developers who attend BlackBerry 10 Jam. Uh, oops. <laughs> and uh, if you attend BlackBerry 10 Jam, for example, yeah, see like this, you'll get errors like that all the time. Uh, it'll tell you to debug your application and whatnot. So this device is only available for developers who attended BlackBerry 10 Jam in Orlando or who will attend or who are qualified and they do attend a a BlackBerry 10 Jam World Tour location and if you're found to be qualified to get a Dev Alpha you will be notified by email they say 24 hours before although I was notified about five uh, days prior to the actual event so yeah you'll figure out if you're qualified or if you're not before the event and if not just check your junk mail your spam mail uh, spam folder or junk folder because it may just get lost in there it's uh, the way the email is written it's kind of like one of those it's a company email so a lot of ISP and not ISP email providers might say or might consider it a a um, a spam email so they'll just put it in there so uh, that's just about it for the uh, Dev Alpha. It's not really interesting for consumers. 
Um, it does come with this little skin case. It comes in a box as well with the charger and USB card, and that's about it. As well as you know the micro SIM tray. This, uh, but no, but no little paperclip thing for you to take it out. So, BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha, neat little device just to get your applications going on it and seeing if you know you might want to change some things up because the screen is a different resolution it's a four it's a four by uh, rather it's 4.2 inches and it is uh, 1280 by 768 so it's 356 pixels per inch I believe which is pretty impressive so I'm Faze Ali for all things mobile be sure to check the website at www.atmobile.ca so that's atmobile.ca Twitter our Twitter handle is at the at symbol at um, atmobile underscore ca and Facebook is all things mobile and I will put those links in the description so if you have any questions comments feel free to comment uh, below comment on the website if you like or here on the YouTube channel we'd love to hear your feedback and our question is what do you think do you think that giving out these phones to developers will make the BlackBerry 10 platform app ready when it does launch later this year? Let us know. We're, we're interested to hear what you guys think. I'm Faze Ali for All Things Mobile. I'll see you guys in the next video.